In the previous video, we had an overview of the binary search tree data structure. Starting this video, let's look at the implementation. There is quite a bit to implement, so we are going to do this across several videos. In this video, we are going to implement the node class and the binary search tree class with the constructor and isEmpty method. We will look at insertion, search, traversal and delete operations in the upcoming videos. All right, let's start with the node class. In the overview video, I mentioned that a binary search tree consists of nodes connected by edges. Each node contains a data value and optional pointers to the left and right child nodes. If we isolate a single node, it contains a data value and the left and right pointers pointing at null. Let's see how to implement this in code. I'm back here in Replit with index.js. We're going to represent each node with a class that can be instantiated whenever a new node has to be added to the tree. So class node. We're going to add a constructor to initialize the node value. Constructor accepts value as a parameter. And we're going to assign this to a property called value. This dot value is equal to value. Apart from value, we also need two pointers for the two children nodes. We're going to create a left and right pointer which point at null when the node is created. So this dot left is equal to null and this dot right is equal to null. A new node will not have any child nodes to begin with. This pretty much is our node class. We will see this in action when we learn how to add a new node to the tree in the next video. Once the node class is defined, our next task is to define the binary search tree class itself. Let's go back to the slide where we have a tree with five nodes. Now to work with a binary search tree, we always maintain a pointer to the root node in the tree. That pointer is crucial to almost every operation we perform on a binary search tree. However, when a tree is empty, there is no root node to point at and hence the root pointer will point at null. And this is what we need when creating a new instance of the binary search tree class. So back in Replit, class binary search tree, and then we add a constructor where the root pointer points at null. So this dot root is equal to null. When you instantiate a new binary search tree, it is empty and root will point at null. That is our constructor. Next, let's define a simple is empty method on the binary search tree class, which will return true if the root node does not exist. So is empty and return this dot root is equal to null. We are simply returning true if root points at null. Right, let's test this to make sure the constructor and the method work as expected. We begin by creating a new instance of the binary search tree class. const bst is equal to new binary search tree. Next, on this binary search tree, we invoke the is empty method. Let's combine it with a log statement. Tree is empty and call binary search tree dot is empty. If we run the code, we see that the tree is in fact empty. Our code works as expected. All right, we have now set ourselves up to focus on the various tree operations. Let's start with adding new nodes to the tree in the next video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.